Today is World Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Day, and while typically that has little to do with NFL football, not today. Action News Jacks First Alert Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish sat down with Jags head coach Doug Peterson to talk about pancreatic cancer, and it's hit close to home for both of them. You see Coach Peterson calling plays on the sideline. All day. Let's go. Don't let up. All right. Let's go. Lead them. Lead them. Let's go. But nearly three years ago, Coach had to call an audible. Well, for me, it was a little bit of a blessing because I was out of football. I had just been let go, you know, um, by the Eagles in January of 21. And my brother was diagnosed, you know, with pancreatic cancer um, not too long after that. Craig Peterson's cancer had advanced to stage four. In the following months, Doug and his family spent as much time with his brother as he could. The time I got to spend with him, you know, was, was the, the most important thing. And being there for, for Karen, his wife, and, and the two daughters. And that, to me, was the, those special moments. Those are the moments you'll always, you'll always remember. As is often the case, the caregiver, Coach Peterson's sister-in-law, took on a lot of extra demanding duties. I just watched her just you know, love him to the end and, and obviously, you know, be there for him. And, and uh, again, as he as he slowly began to, you know, wither away, so to speak, it just became that much more apparent how much obviously, you know, they loved each other and, and, and just the, the feeling of, of, of what a caregiver really, really is. Did you learn anything from the process? About yourself or I, family or yeah, well, I, I mean, we learned we learned a little bit about you know what cancer is and how how devastating it can be. I also learned you know about my own health, you know, and, and, and the takeaways there and, and how how I can be checked and, and and you know look for markers in my body and, and things of that nature. Have yourself checked, you know. I do this with my own my own sons, you know, now and, and making sure and they're in their twenties and and making sure that that we do everything in our power to you know, stay on top of, you know, these types of these types of cancers and and early detection is obviously the best, you know, way of stopping it or slowing it down. Craig Peterson passed away October 12th, 2021, just nine months after being diagnosed. Thoughts on that day? A lot of memories, um, good memories, you know, of my brother. He loved to fly model airplanes and, you know, he was a football player. We were teammates in college together. The five-year survival rate for pancreatic cancer is just 12.5%, one of the most deadly cancers on earth. And it's touched some of our family right here at Action News Jax. Sports director Brent Martineau's grandmother passed away from the disease nearly 30 years ago. Also in our sports department, Olivia Tassley lost her uncle just a couple of months ago to pancreatic cancer. And I lost my mom. 16 years ago nearly, after a remarkably graceful nine-month battle against the horrendous disease. Well, mark your calendars for the last Saturday in April the 27th for the Purple Stride at Treaty Oak Park in downtown. Burrish will be the MC of that as he is every year. The event honors those that we've lost to pancreatic cancer. It celebrates survivors and raises money for research and treatments, some of which is done right here in Jacksonville at the Mayo Clinic.